welcome back friends in this video tutorial we are going to talk about glycogenesis so glycogenesis is a process of synthesizing glycogen from glucose molecules and when it happens if you look at the last video that is the first video of the series we have talked about the balance between glycogen and glucose in our body and also we have talked about how exactly the blood glucose concentration is maintained in our body as an overview and we've, we've, we've seen this idea that our body undergoes two types of energetic state, low energy state and high energetic state. When our body has ample amount of glucose, it's in high energetic state. When it is having less amount of glucose, that is low energetic state. Now the idea here, if whenever you are in a high energetic state and you have excess amount of glucose molecules, you should store it as a glycogen molecule so that in future, in low energetic state, when you need some energy, you can take those glycogen and break them down into glucose molecules and can use those glucose molecules to generate energy with the help of aerobic respiration and cellular respiration processes. That is the idea. So here, when you see the term glycogenesis, that means glycogen, so let me write glycogen synthesis. Glycogen synthesis, that's what it's all about glycogenesis. So glycogen synthesis is required when we have excess amount of glucose in our bloodstream. We don't need them anymore, so let's store them as glycogen. Now the question is, why should we store glucose as glycogen? Why not storing it as glucose itself? The answer to that is glucose molecules are simpler simpler structures and forms but if you want to store them as glucose it will be really difficult uh, to store them it will take a lot of space and it is not very much stable as a storage uh, molecule so it's energetic it's reactive it will react and do other other things and other metabolites will be involved so you don't want that we want it to store we want to manage the space in in our tissues so that we can accumulate as many as number of glucose molecules we can that is the reason we form those glucose we convert those glucose actually into glycogen the thing here is the glucose molecules are linked with each other with glycosidic linkages and we'll start linking glucose molecules not only straight chains but also we start branching them so here you see this is the structure of glycogen which is a highly branched polysaccharide structure so multiple monosaccharide which are glucose are linked with each other and they also have branches so that they can accommodate many number of glucose in small space and also much stable as a storage unit that's why we convert glucose into glycogen before storage and once we produce glycogen we store it as glycogen in the liver cell in the liver tissues okay that is the idea of glucogenesis now the thing is we know how exactly this is done when exactly this thing is done and whenever we are utilizing glucose so we are dragging with taking glucose away from the bloodstream and we are converting into the glycogen storing them in liver cells now the idea here for this process to work we need some signaling from outside that's going to tell our cells that glucose concentration is really high in the blood so you need to take them and convert them into glycogen and that signal is nothing but presence of insulin insulin is a hormone secreted by uh, the beta cell of pancreas and utilizing this insulin when the insulin binds to the receptors on the surface of the cell they, they start uh, placing all those glucose transporters on the top of the cell so that they start the uptaking lot and lot of glucose inside and convert them into the glycogen and then store it now the second part of this video will explain exactly what are the steps of all this process with diagrams watch this part and i hope it's definitely going to help you okay now let's look at the process step by step the idea here is to join glucose monomers with alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkages to form a linear polymer of glucose known as a linear glycogen chain then that glycogen chain the linear chain is complexed because by adding different branching to it and the branching will be alpha 1 6 branching so for this two separate job we, we need two different types of enzyme 
One type of enzyme will help to form the alpha-1-4 glycosidic bond. Another type will help to form alpha-1-6 glycosidic bond at the end. So here we start with the glucose molecule itself. Then it comes down to hexokinase or glucokinase. If the process is continuing in the muscle, the enzyme will be hexokinase. If it's going on in the liver, then glucokinase enzyme. And the job of this kinase enzyme is to add a phosphate group to the glucose and the sixth carbon of the glucose, converting it into glucose 6-phosphate. And then this glucose 6-phosphate is modified into glucose 1-phosphate with the help of phosphoglucomutase. Then glucose 1-phosphate is then modified to UDP glucose with the help of UDP glucose pyrophosphatase enzyme. And this is the start point of making a branch uh, linear uh, glycogen molecule by adding multiple glucose monomers with each other. And such more and more UDP glucose and more single glucose units will be tagged together to form this alpha 1 fold linkage between the glucose molecules to form the core chain for glycogen. Then more and more glucose monomers are attached with each other, form a long straight linear chain of glycogen with the help of the enzyme glycogen synthase. Glycogen synthase is the enzyme which catalyzes the process of alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond formation. Now the last part is the branching and we need a separate enzyme known as the glycogen branching enzyme that keeps on adding 1,6 glycosidic bond to form different branch from those linear glycogen chain. This is how the glycogen molecule is formed.